Hi there and welcome to your Easy Mind, Easy Life by Holly Bell. I almost said your past is a gift. <laughs> almost, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, so continuing on with this very, very, very important conversation because it's the first step towards you freeing yourself from those events. You're looking at it completely different now. You're no longer the victim. We're trying to move you away from being the victim of those events of what happened to you as a child, right? That's what we're trying to move away from because it's not true. You're not a victim, okay? Everyone has their issues going on. Everyone has their baggage, you know, their, their junk that they've brought from childhood along. And as a grown-up, if you're a grown-up now, you can understand because you've got your own baggage. And how many of you put your hand up <laughs> when you, you became a mother? Remember, you swore you would never be your mother. And now all of a sudden, you are your mother. How many of you? You know, I hear so many people say, oh, when I have kids, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do the other. And the next thing they know, They've turned into that parent, you know, that they so despised everything they did. But it's all good. It's all good, you know. When I was little, I, I, so many times I've had this moment, this aha moment, right? Um, that I was smacked and I was yelled at a lot when I was little, right? And they're the memories I have of my mum. There's very few memories that I can go back and remember her with love that we had loving moments together um the yelling and the smacking was so predominant in my childhood with her that that's my main memory with her and you know i look now at my life and i think i like who i am you know after all these years all those judgments that i'm never going to do that to my kids and i'm you know i'm not going to yell at them and i'm not going to smack them and all these judgments about how bad it was and how it made me feel and, you know, one day I just, after, especially after the covered in yakimaki mud, and I started to discover these beautiful meditations. And then just one day I was sitting there thinking, but I really like who I am. You know, none of that made any difference to who I am today. It doesn't change who you are inside, really inside. All these things are outside of you. The smacking, the yelling, the abuse, whatever it was that went on is outside of you. But the you, the real you, the love that you are is still inside, looking out onto the world. It never went anywhere. It's just that we bury it down deep with all the stuff we take on, you know, from our childhood and from the years that come after that childhood. And we start to believe things about ourselves, things that just aren't true. We feel we're not good enough in some way. Our love isn't good enough in some way. And no, it's got nothing to do with that. The love's always there. You are the love. It will always be there. That they don't know what to do with it or they don't know how to handle it because they've got their own baggage you know the grown-ups around you or you know the whole thing going on around you as you're growing up the whole you know everything all the people the events everything that's happening it's all there for you so in this video I wanted to touch on something else that happened to me after all these beautiful books and it was just one moment that I remember sitting with myself and having this massive realization that these events in our childhood, they're not ad hoc. They're not um, accidental or by coincidence or any of that. It's not a, oh, you, you just had bad luck that you had that childhood. Well, other kids have good childhoods, you know, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, other kids get everything and you get nothing, right? It's not, it doesn't work like that. One day I remember sitting there and I just had this vision and I realized our soul has a purpose. Your, your soul, your spirit, it's inside of you, right? Inside this body. This body's just a vessel. It's just a shell. 
It's not who you are. So no matter what has happened to this body, whether it's being yelled at, whether it's been smacked, whether it's been abused in whichever physical way it could have possibly been abused, it's just a vessel, it's just your body. It's not who you are. Who you are is always intact, immaculate. It's inside and it's something that cannot be destroyed. Who you truly are. And I came to realize one day that we choose our parents. We choose the events. We, when I say we, I'm talking about our soul. It already has a plan of what it wants to experience in this lifetime. Your beautiful soul already knows what it wants to do here in this lifetime. And the human mind just cannot fathom <laughs> why it would want to go through all of that. But it does. Because through all of that, that we go through, there are levels of compassion. There are levels of forgiveness. And some things, even though they seem unforgivable, that's what your soul came here to experience. That much pain and that much tra trauma. That it would come out the other end and realize, oh, I'm still intact. But, wow, that's what that feels like. That intense grief, that intense pain, all of that, that intense loss. Because my mum lost her parents when she was five years old. She lost both parents and was left in the world. Uh, with some of her siblings, when they went off, they got adopted by one of her aunts, who already had a lot of kids of her own. <laughs> so for her, for my mum, that was very traumatic to lose both parents at the same time when she was just five years old. You know, some events, uh, yeah, you wonder why did I come to experience that? But that's what your soul wants to experience in this lifetime. That's what it came here for and it chose all these things because that's what it wanted. I know it's hard, it's hard when you think about, you know, some of the things that some people go through in their lives. But I've observed that no matter how traumatic your childhood, no matter what you've been through, we're all the same. We all end up with this trauma of not feeling good enough, of not feeling worthy, of not feeling wanted, of not feeling loved. We all end up in the same place after all those events because that's part of the journey as well. It's the part where it's there for us to remember who we are. All of that is there for that. And with each experience, you grow into more love. You grow into more compassion. You grow into more forgiveness. You grow into more peace, into more joy. The more experiences you have. The more difficult it is to forgive. The more difficult it is to get through. When you come out the other end and you realise that it was your soul's purpose the whole time to have that experience. Your heart just explodes with so much love. For the experience. For all the events that brought, you know, that brought you to this moment. The fact that we can be here and have these experiences in itself is a miracle. You know, people don't even stop to think about that. The fact that you are on earth at this time having these experiences is a miracle in and of itself. It's just incredible. 
So, you know, today with this video, you know, I encourage you to get in touch with that part of you. You know, your spirit, your soul, whatever you want to call it, that beautiful energy that's inside of you that came here to have an adventure. You know, we label it as good or bad or whatever. We're the ones that put judgment on it. The human mind, the soul doesn't care. It just wanted to have the experience because it was going to be so much richer for it. The soul, the depth of knowing it was going to gain from this experience was worth the trip. That's the magic of it. All right, my darling, so sit with your soul today and ask it, ask it to reveal to you what is it that it came here for? Why is it here? What did it want to experience? And then look at what you've been through. Because your journey up until this point will reveal to you exactly what you're here for. Exactly what you came to experience. You'll see it. Just go through the events. so far. The answers are there. They've always been there. Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.